Have you seen the Unreal 6 news? But I did. I did see the tweet. I did see the video about the tweet as well. The dude who's making that, he can make content out of anything. It's just like literally Tim Sweeney tweets something. He's going to make a 15 minute long video. I don't know if it was 15 minutes, but it was pretty long video. That's that's some YouTube skill there. Like I got I to gotta respect the hustle. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> and turning heavily to Fortnite and UFN, I've spoken to a lot of devs that are not happy with the AI seems to be going. I'm pretty excited about it. We really need verse. We need a uh, scripting language in Unreal, like uh, C-Sharp is, or like uh, GD script is. A lot of developers are in- uncomfortable with blueprints, because it's visual scripting, and there is a lot of elitism between programmers, when they think it's not really good enough. And, there, and to be fair, there are issues with blueprints, and by no means there are not issues. Mainly the fact that they are binary files, and you can properly do version control on them. That's biggest issue by far. But um, it's a difficult, because a lot of artists or like people who are more visually oriented tend to really really love blueprints they tend to love blueprints but when it comes to like pro- programmers they tend to be somewhat unhappy with blueprints and i kind of understand that i think it's a bit silly but i kind of understand them that, that why they are like that i think it's a little bit of it is elitism uh some of it is just uh actual actual worry honestly so far unreal has since five has been going amazingly uh, like un- step from unreal 4 to unreal 5 is huge huge it's so incredibly cool what they accomplished uh, and even a lot of the updates since going to unreal 5 was were pretty impressive uh, i have also seen the roadmap on the roadmap i have not seen anything that would worry me at all so some of the speculations may be a bit distracting but uh these are just the speculations and we do need verse right we do need scripting language not not needed but it's gonna make a uh, use use of uh use of unreal so much better i am not unhappy about it i think a lot of it is just people not really understanding what it means and no one really knows what it means but you got c you can write c instead of blueprints. Yes, that's true, but it's uh, C++ is a runtime compile, and that's really slow to work with. It's annoying and slow to work with. I, I love C++, just to be clear. I really like writing C++, but uh, it's not very good for scripting logic. It's uh, really good when you need to do core hardware, but it's slow when you just need to do quick changes, and that's a problem. And also just debugging it is kind of difficult. You really want still C++ for all the backend and all the core logic and uh, core gameplay, but uh, then you want something for scripting. And blueprints may not always cover you. Uh, but yes, you can use, you can make a whole project without blueprint. Well, the hardest, that could be a bit tough. But you can do pretty much all gameplay programming p- purely in C++. It's just a bit clumsy. Dynamic Static Mesh sounds like the solution. Things and just trying to create simple objects for mini games. Yeah, probably Dynamic Static Mesh then. That's probably gonna be easiest. I think the easiest way, and how I think uh, Tim Sweeney and the whole team is thinking about it, is that Unreal 6 or Unreal with Bears it's not gonna be UEFN. UEFN is gonna be completely independent, probably. Think about it as if other programming languages, we have a bunch of libraries. You have this whole Fortnite library, which are all which all the Fortnite logic, so you can like include that if you were writing your C++ class. You can include there certain libraries and certain modules that you want to want your CPP class to have access to. And it's gonna be very likely very similar. It's probably a smart move, actually, and I think it's long-term better move to go in that direction. How you can think about it is that Unreal will become very modular as an engine. You will be able to have uh, a core engine that is always there, and then you will activate yourself only modules that are actually relevant. Godot works very much like that. Unity used to work like that. It's going a bit awry now. But that's kind of very likely what I think it's going to happen. You will have a lot of different libraries. One of those libraries is going to be your, your whole Fortnite library. And you will be able to include it or you may not want to include it. And I think that's actually a really smart and good direction to go in. Because it will offer a lot of flexibility and it will uh, it will solve a lot of the problems. Unreal has, for example, having to, a whole lot of code, right? Having a lot of code and a lot of modules that uh, you are kind of forced to have in Unreal and you don't really need and that makes a whole project too big and makes it difficult to work with and you have things that you don't know what they do and blah 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 if Unreal was more modular this would not be the case you would include only what you want and on top of that you're having a whole scripting language that lets you lets you include only what you want and uh, work easily in run no, probably not in runtime maybe who knows the main issue funnily enough with UEFN is a is test times um, iteration times uh, for some reason it's uh, it doesn't work like here in Unreal when you can just click on play and you play the game you launch some weird session in Fortnite it takes like 5 minutes to load and then for every change in code you just have to reset it and something incredibly stupid I can't even can't even understand why they thought that was ever a good idea. Maybe they had to implement it like that. 
because I sure as hell hope they had to, because otherwise, God, that would be some stupid thinking there. So I'm guessing there was rather some technical, technical limitation, and they had to go work around. Jesus, can't speak properly, see. If that wasn't the issue, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I think the uploads to the Fortnite server first hand sits or so. Yeah, pretty sure, pretty sure that's the case. Pretty sure they are just basically having UEFN and uh, Fortnite uh, are completely different softwares right now, and they have this weird connection between them that takes forever to load. No respectable game developer is gonna take five minutes to wait uh, between iteration times. Like, imagine I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna change something, I'm gonna move the arrow here, and then click on play, and wait five minutes before it goes. Like, my work would slow down millions of times. Because it's not just the time you lose, it's also you lose the focus, you lose the flow that you have in your work, you go somewhere else, because you don't are not gonna sit here for five minutes, so now you get stuck on coffee for 15 other minutes, and instead of five, you have now 20 minutes. It's just stupid. There is no way you are ever gonna work like that. Uh, so, yep. That's, uh, <laughs> that's kind of my very long opinion. <laughs> We shall see what it's gonna be like. I am excited. And also the thing is that you can always work with older version of engine, right? Nothing is gonna stop you from now taking 5.1, 5.2, 5.3 maybe, and ever work with that and never go to anything else. You are eventually gonna probably be left behind, but you can stay on the older version for probably a good decade, few years for sure. I don't think that's something to worry some. You gotta also realize Unreal is used by a lot and lot of AAA studios, and Unreal is used by more and more AAA studios. They can do a screw up that uh, would force AAA developers to work in Fortnite. And, uh, right? That, imagine that. <laughs> imagine you are gonna go to CD Projekt Red and tell them that their next Witcher is gonna be released in Fortnite. How would you think they would react? Probably not very favorably. I would very safely assume that uh, Unreal is always gonna be game engine first, and then there is gonna be this whole library of Fortnite that you can easily log in. It can be a plugin, it can be a module, you can just switch on and off and use those libraries and export on Fortnite if you want to. But uh, I very very much doubt it's ever gonna be something that's enforced on you. You, you said uh, malicious much that uh, some people were very worried about the uh, future of a nail. I f it seems more like it comes from misunderstanding rather than anything else. Uh, but maybe if I have some, some specific worries they have, then that may be maybe more something to talk about.